Freelance developer, your first year, what to expect and a few tips. All right, let's jump into it. Number one, you have to expect ups and downs in your first year. That's no question about that. Number two, the money you will make will be less than what you make in year two, and year two will be less than what you make in year three. Number three, you must adapt to local market conditions. You may love to code in Ruby. You may love to code in Flash. You may love to code in React, but you may find that a lot of the jobs are full stack, PHP, maybe WordPress development, maybe some Node, maybe some JS, who knows? Whatever your local market happens to be, you have to adapt to it if you want to make the money. Number four, you want to be on time. If you set an appointment for 10 a.m., show up at 10 a.m. If you tell me you're going to deliver the project in two weeks, you make sure you deliver that project in two weeks. Number five, under promise and over deliver. That's nothing uh, special in the coding world. That's just good business. And number six, enter the market as a freelance developer with at least, at least six months of FU emergency money. This way you're not desperate for any contracts. Helps you with negotiations, keeps the stress off, much better for you overall. And in fact, Six months is a minimum. If you're freelancing, I say extend that to at least a year. All right, I hope you found these tips useful. I'm Uncle Steph. I'm the Code Mentor.